Hey guys, welcome to Shajib Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to toggle between first person and third person camera using a single skeleton mesh. Yeah, I'm on a first person camera and I could see my body, right? And you also you could see my shadow, right? I'm using the same same skeleton mesh. And if I press C again, this is the same skeleton mesh. All I'm doing is switching. I have two cameras, one for first person and one for third person. I'm switching between those those two cameras, but I'm using the same um, skeleton mesh. All right, so I'm going to create a brand new project. It has to be a third person, and you can keep the starter content on and off. But With the project, so we have a brand new third person project open. If you play this, this is the default project that we get, right? All right, so now we're going to go to third person BP folder, blueprints, third person character. Okay, S select your uh, mesh. So, this is the only skeletal mesh we have. We're going to use the same skeletal mesh, but we're going to add, we're going to have two cameras. Select the mesh and then click on add component and go to camera and name it FP camera. We're also going to rename the, the follow camera, which is the third person camera, to TP camera. We want the third person camera to be the default. When you start the game, we want the third person to be default. Make sure the third person auto activate should be checked by default. You don't have to just, you don't have to worry about that. But for the first person camera, we want to do two things. So we want to make sure under the details window, the um, camera option use pawn control rotation should be checked. Also, you want to deactivate auto activate should be disabled and checked. All right now, compile and save. One more thing you want to do is uh, click on the third person character itself. Under the details window, look for use control rotation. Make sure this is checked. Okay. Now, under the components window, select your phone uh, FP camera. So this is your FP camera. Now, we want to change the parent socket to the head. So, so select the FP camera on the right under our details window. Change the parent socket to head. Make sure your FP camera is under. Um, under the mesh, skeleton mesh, um, otherwise you're not going to see this uh, head option. Okay, so once you have this, you will see the camera attached to your head. Now we want to adjust this uh, and rotate uh, 90 Go to the front. Like that. File well, and save. Ready. Okay, now we're going to uh, write some blueprint code. Blueprint. So go to your event graph of your third person character. Going to, I'm going to use the C key. You can um, go to your project setting and go to inputs and add input keys there. If you, but but for, for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to just do this. So our default camera is third person cameras. When I press C for the first time, I want to use flip flop. When I press um, C for the first time, I want to set active. So there you go. You see the first person camera. You want to check that. And when I press again, it's going to switch back to the uh, third person. So it's going to be set view target. Make sure you uncheck the context scene sensitive and you'll see set view target with so the target is going to be the um, the player controller the new view target you need that it's going to be get control on this one All right, so one more thing you have to do is you also want to deactivate when the third person is on. 
There's a camera is on. Okay. So this is deactivated and also make sure this is checked. When you press C for the first time, you want to activate the first person camera. Now let's give it a try. The third person is the default camera. So if I play this, you see this the third person default. If I press C, it's gonna I'm gonna switch to the uh, first person camera. As you see, I'm using the same skeleton mesh, and you can see my shadow as well. If I jump, you can see my hand. You can see my hands. Okay. And you also see a little bit camera shake when I'm running because you know my camera is attached to the head, but it's very realistic. If I see again, it goes to my third person. Anyway. So I think this is very interesting and let me know if you um, found it useful, if you comment and like, if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe, until next time, goodbye.